Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Samsung T7 SSD. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is the box for the Samsung T7 portable SSD. The T7 is the successor to the T5 and the smaller sibling of the T7 Touch. The main difference between the two being that one has a fingerprint scanner and the other doesn't. In the box you'll get the SSD, of course, and two sets of cables with the instruction manual. Now, what I like about the two sets of cables is one of them is a USB-A to USB-C, and the other one is a USB-C to USB-C. If you're like me and you own a 2016 MacBook Pro or later, well, you know which cable we're going to be using. That's the USB-C to USB-C. Last but not least is the quick start guide, just in case you happen to get lost. Okay, so immediately the first thing that I noticed upon taking this out of the box was how small and compact this thing is. It's about the size of a credit card and it also happens to weigh practically nothing, but don't let that fool you, this thing is durable. So it's quite a thin drive, much thinner than a hard disk or even the T5. This drive is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 drive and it uses the USB-C standard of connections. Now my main disk prior to this was a WD 1TB hard disk. It got the job done, but it was extremely slow, and I'll show you in a speed test later in the video. The Samsung SSD uses a USB-C port, and the hard drive from WD uses a USB micro B port. And obviously, the size difference between the two is very apparent. Like I mentioned before, since I use a MacBook Pro, this USB-C to USB-C port is a blessing in disguise. No longer will I have to carry around a dongle with me when I need to get my work done. When you plug it in for the first time, you'll be prompted to install Samsung's SSD management software. Personally, I don't want any security on the drive, so I'm going to leave security mode off. Basically, all this will tell you if you have the Samsung T7 or the T5 is how much space you have left. Also, when you eject the drive, you'll get a small red flashing light telling you that the drive has been ejected. Alright, so now let's get to speed tests. We're going to be using the disk speed test app from Blackmagic Design. You can get it in the app store if you want to try it on your own drive. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. Now, as you can see on screen, the USB 2.0 hard disk's performance is terrible. And now, if we compare it to the USB 3.0 drive, the 3.0 drive is just a little faster, and I can vouch for it because I play some games off the hard disk, and they run okay, it's not too bad. Try to edit anything more than 1080p and you'll run into big slowdowns. The T7 has a transfer speed of up to 1050 megabytes per second. When you're doing transfers that only last a little while, you'll get a sustained drive speed. But once the drive starts to get a little hot, well, Samsung has tried their best to put forth a thermal solution for such a small SSD. After using it for more than two and a half hours to edit this video, you'll notice that the drive speeds aren't exactly 1050 MB per second. They've dropped. Now you might be wondering why the speed has dropped, and well, that's because the SSD is thermal throttling to make sure that it doesn't cross a certain threshold of heat. After a certain point, you don't want your data to get damaged. And I'm really happy to see that the drive is sustaining the speed even after long periods of usage. Now, just for fun, I thought I'd compare it against the internal SSD on my MacBook Pro, and there's no comparison. I mean, obviously, it's an internal drive, but it's crazy to see how fast the internal SSD is on the MacBook. Now, the Samsung T7 comes in three different colors, indigo blue, titan grey, and metallic red. I went for titan grey because I thought it would match the awesome look of the space grey of my MacBook Pro. The main question is, should you buy this SSD? If you're a creative professional, you know, you edit photos and videos and maybe you play a lot of games, well, this is the SSD for you. And since there's no moving parts inside, if you accidentally drop this, there's not much to worry about. SSDs are significantly more expensive than hard disks, so only if you need the fast speeds, go for one of these. You can pick them up at discounted prices on both Amazon India and Amazon US. And well, after having used it for the past few days, I have to say, this is well worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.